Welcome everybody to this episode of the Comfy Couch Performance Circle. Happy to see everybody here. We've got a great studio. <laughs> uh, we're at Longmont Public Media here in uh, downtown Longmont, Colorado. Glad to see everybody here. We have a great lineup tonight. I'm Robbie Layton. I'm your host. Uh, tonight we're going to have um, uh, some poetry for you and we're going to have some music and we're just going to have a great time. Um, I have here with me on the comfy couch and next to me uh, today, I have uh, Valerie Zarek. Did yeah, I say that right? You did say it right. Yes. Good. Yay. Um, and who is actually going to perform with Mad Dog Friedman, who is back there running the soundboard for now, yeah. as he always does this time on uh, the fourth Thursdays of the month. And uh, he'll come up and, and perform with her. And then I have Julie Caron, a good friend of mine from uh, song school and parts like that. Uh, she's a local performer that... Uh, I think you'll really enjoy. And then we have a full band here tonight with Freya Wild and the Gathering Storm. And they are a gathering storm, I'll say that. Um, I think you'll agree when we hear them play. So um, I, with that, that's what we've got. We're going to have a great evening here. And we're going to kick it off just to give you a sample of all the good stuff to come with Freya Wild and the Gathering Storm is going to do a tune for you. And I'll rearrange a mic or something. <laughs> This is my refuge. 
sacred mind stone, I've come to defend what nature has sown. Bless this land. Bless this land. Songwriter. Um, I'm the youngest of nine kids in my family. I grew up in a very musical family, um, so I love to sing. Um, and I kind of found songwriting, I sort of say that I found songwriting where I wrote these sort of song like things uh, when I was about 13 or 14 when my dad passed away. And then I kept feeling this pull to come back to it. And, uh, but I also have 50,000 interests. And so life, I was busy and life got in the way. And so I, um, uh, I didn't get back to it until actually after my mom passed away when I was in my early 30s. So, um, so it's a very, I think it's a very healing thing, songwriting, you know? It's, it's um, and, and so I do have a tendency to write some sad songs, but I'll start out with a, with a more happy one. Yeah. <laughs> Double check that we're still in tune. for you later on too. 
Welcome to the stage, Mad Dog. Thank you. <laughs> you guys have anything you want oh, to tell? Oh, what a great crowd tonight. Say, yeah. Say? yeah, I want to, um, I just want to say thank you, you Robbie, for putting this, this on. Yeah, and thank you. And, uh, yeah, this is like old home we from, my old <laughs> friends here. And this is, this is such a, a fun show. And it was about a year ago, I think it was the first time I was on here, yeah. and I just released this book. And um, it's kind of my life's work of poetry. And since then, I've recorded it, all 96 poems. <laughs> uh, volume 1, 2, and 3 of Into Light is available on all streaming services, uh, either as an album or as a... Yeah, or as an audiobook. And in the process of doing that, I found, I, I found again how much I love poetry and flute together. Cool. And it was Valerie that introduced me. Well, it didn't introduce me. I had that idea. I had actually, from the day one, when I picked up my flute, it was always about poetry for me. But she gave me the first opportunity to play. It was like two weeks after I first got my flute at song school. She gave me my first opportunity to play at the um, McNichols, uh, McNichols Event Center. Yeah, Mc, McNichols Event Center. We we played together, and uh, it's been magic ever since. We've been doing it for ten years now. Right. Yeah. Cool. So Thank you. this Being is. Here. So I'm celebrating the fact that um, I've released a couple albums of flute poetry music, and the last one just got released on the 21st, just mm. a few days ago, and it's called Love Poems. And um, you can get it on all the streaming services under Mad Dog Friedman. So I'm going to do one of those from there. Ready? Yeah. I wish now. I was with you under this moon as full as my anticipation. I want now to be skin to skin within your arms again, emptied of my desperation. As if our lives between had never happened freed of regret. Would that I could have known then what now I know, and we again first met. Alone in this darkness, I begin to pretend the same moon rides your nights, strong and fragile as the eggshell moonlight. I reach for you tonight. I think I was this many years old when I learned that our mothers, uh, when they were uh, a little fetus in their mother's wombs, they had all the eggs they will ever have in their whole life, which means that we were carried by our grandmothers. It just phew, blows my mind. Dinosaur tar 
in my bone marrow. I too have risen from the earth, from eggs carried by grandmothers. All of us birds, our wings folded under skin. My vertebrae are made of turtle shell, skin christened by the Milky Way. Nails, translucent petals of skeleton flowers. Dinosaur tar came from my Hungarian side. We ate stone and maidenhair fern. The earth was softer, more malleable. Everything that ever was is in our marrow. Every being a word in this long poem. As a lizard, I feared the pterodactyl. As a worm, I feared deluges that drown. As a baby bird, I feared the cold. As a dinosaur, I learned to fear the tar that held my feet in place. As a human with your DNA in my bones, how can I own myself peaceful? How can I trust a cloud shadow to not be a hunter searching for me? How can I learn to trust the rain? As a being of earth, in whose consciousness do I walk? It is a miracle are not afraid all of the time. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll be back too. Now you've had a sampling of what we're going to hear the rest of the night. But before we uh, get into that, we're going to take a very brief break. That just gives us a chance to check in to make sure things are working like they're supposed to and um, people have a chance to refresh themselves. But as soon as, as soon as we can get right back here, we'll uh, get going with the rest of tonight's show. So um, make yourself comfortable, and uh, we'll be right back here in five to ten minutes, okay? Thank you. All right, so yeah, you guys will be back after this break. Okay. Oh, where's that was this mic. Yeah. So, well, so was it like, did you have it the wrong direction? Should be out. Okay. Uh, go, go over there and check. Maybe it was just too close to that thing or something. Yeah. yeah. Something was... Like, well, maybe we should leave it, leave it over here because also the flute moved. Oh, I, that, yeah, I just turned it off. But I'm just saying that and, and it wasn't too bad a sound. I, I, yeah. I would have liked a little more in Freya. Um, and uh, there was something different to... Uh, I know, but that's going to come in.
Yeah, that was Did you both perform on that? Do you have your own album? You should put it out. You can try to try to put it right next to his book, and then like you know. Yeah, that's completely all. They adjusted the lights because the face was a bit right there now. It was a bit washed out. Is this where you are? Yes. I just want to make sure that the light is you know, really overpowering you. Is this? Also, he has his garage fully filled with box. I got a 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 box. And it's got an amazing backyard. I don't know, is it, if, it, if it's a town, is it a town house, if it's detached from the neighborhood, what do they have to do? I don't know the difference between that and that one. All right, Mark, everybody. Yeah, so it's four floors. Uh, let's see. Fire apps, that's what I want. So, I mean, not that I'm just like this. Yeah, well, so you know, that's good. That's good. I want, I want just like a, I want like an escalator up and then like one of those fire men poles. Yeah. 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 Y
really a beautiful space. So I'm Valerie Zarek, and I go by Poet Val. You can find me at poetval.com, which is so easy. And this is my uh, most recent book. And I teach a lot. I practice some. Um, I'm a shamanic practitioner, and they have a healing practice. I'm a leather artisan, and poetry. I, I introduce myself usually just as poet. It's really my favorite part, my favorite thing to be in the world. So, and thanks for inviting me. Yeah, thanks for coming. Soar ready. I had my feathers replaced today. Along my shoulders and the back of my neck. The old one's hardly catching the currents anymore. I'd forgotten to molt and hung on to everything I ever had. Today I let go, pluck the disheveled, and replace them with the grand. Part angel, part great blue heron, and downy owl feathers along my spine. I don the talent feet of hawk, firm, relaxed, unfettered by storms. I see the moon different, shadows as friends. MD, did MD say that we love playing together? <laughs> Walk in beauty. Spring swims inside me. As I step, the grass mumbles something about the rain. Grass feels no anger as we waste our paradise. Animals come and go, and always green returns. Trees do not hesitate to burst bud. Grief falls heavy as I walk in beauty through a breaking land. Wind still lifts the great hawk as clouds laced red with the smoke of sunset, fade to black. Universal. Sunlit seed heads nod in eager waves. Golden grass bends in an, agreeable, in, a, in an agreeable wind, now and again. Same air pulses through each of us. No matter how old or alone, we bow our heads to the same light within. It's not because no one is home that this thunder leaves me uneasy. Rain chants its mantra of falling, no matter what comes to mind. The rain dashes by like a cat, and the thunder growls like a dog pulling on its chain. Water moves 
always wearing down, dissolving whatever is in its way. Me, I stay put. I could be a tree, how casually I wait for the storm to pass. The thunder stutters now as if to say, enough already. A muffled squall rages inside me. It rains here all the time. The wind pushes the tears back into my eyes. I open and close the dark window. Open the window because I need to breathe. I groan in a dialect of thunder no one understands. Like a drunk stumbling home, I bellow and bawl until there's nothing to say until I black out. I'm just hooked and mangled as Hemingway's Marlin. This is what it's like to be old, to be afraid to climb. At the top of the tower, the ever-turning light makes a shadow out of everything in its way. Once water, heavy from its journey, comes to rest, it returns to the purity of the sky. This is the teaching of the rain, the meaning of breath. Take in deeply what you may, but remember always to let go. most temperamental flute and it's so it's always so risky but it makes it even better yeah <laughs> it's more in the moment yeah, it's more in the moment yeah, that's right. sings. The sky sings me home. Where my grandmother's bones lace my own marrow. Ash on my fingers, soft from last night's fire, soft from conjuring stars. Mapping home. Home, not like the place to return to after my skin lies down. But that resonant river that traces my limbs, where I'm rooted, where I remember myself whole, connected, powerful, able to do more than survive. A stone from the path asks me for a carry. We share a walk for a while. I ask this elder brother how to get home, how to remember myself whole. I ask if they will remember for me and see my dreams so I never forget anymore. Brother tells me, forget
spaghetti is the game. Survival, the map of losing and finding so our hearts can crack deeper and deeper like stones in a sweat lodge. Glowing red, cold water striking their flesh. Their hearts burst, offering the way to let go and fall home again. Every prayer should end in again. The soft ash on my fingertips again. May I remember to look deep into the night sky again. May I sing and write poems and light sage in the mornings again. May I remember myself whole again. May I say thank you even before please. May I wake up knowing. May I see my bright path from end to beginning. May I remember the magic in everything again. to the comfy couch and um, let her do, do some more for you. So welcome yeah. Julie back. Thank you. I want to thank you so much, Robbie, for having me. I really appreciate being, being here. here. Yeah. yeah. And what a fabulous audience, too. Yes. I know. Big I know a few of you. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, I guess I'm going to need the guitar here. So Let's see, so as I mentioned, uh, my dad passed away when I was 13 or 14, so this is a song about my dad. See us off. I remember how the car tires would squeak on the cold, snowy roads. The radio was playing WCCO news show. Looked dapper in your tweed coat. You had the warmest smile, and you told the funniest jokes. And my eyes are your eyes. Mm -hmm. Some people say. so scared that everyone else I love will leave too I was just a little girl then but a piece of my heart still scared that's true but you showed me steadfast love every day so in the face of all my fears, I want to trust love can stay, cause my eyes are
have been right there watching over me so I'd see you never meant to leave thank you all so much um, let's see did you say three or four? Sure. Something like that? Okay. Let's do, um, let's do this one. If I don't mind bending Until I break into take a stand But I would take a second seat to the bottle in your hand Then I'm hurting myself Yeah I'm hurting Excuse the names you call me Cause you're angry and hurt, hurt. Mm. If I believe that something about me Could deserve those words Then I'm hurting myself Keep one, going. One yeah. more, two more? Yeah, okay. More. Awesome. Yeah. So this was um, inspired by a political figure. Upon 
your high horse looking down up on your high horse yeah with your little toy crown you trample the truth One more. So, how about one more um, song that was inspired by the um, misinformation campaign? <laughs> and it's a sing along. Um, so, uh, feel free to sing along on the chorus as you see fit. Some of you know it already. <laughs> How's this go? <laughs> Sorry.
go after that. Sorry, <laughs> Alex Jones. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, this is the sweetest sounding. I know. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see. Um, will you write about one thing, maybe two? I don't think the Democrats run a pedophile ring, and I'll never believe the Trumps are safe. I base my stance on his actual behavior But you've done your own research So now you know more than the experts But the things that you believe are not your own They're from QAnon Russian troll and Alex Jones. And Alex Jones. I don't think you'll ever see it any other way And I don't believe in big conspiring forces And I'll never stop checking my sources And sometimes I have to laugh Other times it makes me really sad You believe YouTube videos More than peer-reviewed science articles Cause you've done your own research Now you know more than the experts come out tonight. Uh, if you're interested in being on this show, um, just ask. Um, that's kind of how I populate it. Uh, we do this the fourth Thursday of every month um, at this time and place. It's not the last Friday, Thursday, I'm sorry, last Thursday or last or fifth. It is the fourth Thursday of the month right here. And um, just uh, you can uh, contact Longmont Public Media and they'll forward you uh, your info to me if you want to be on the show, and I'll find some slots. We've got some later in the year. We do it, again, as I said, once a month. Next month, I will be uh, absent, but we're going to have my friend Dave Coyle, uh, who has done the show many times, and he's a much finer host than I am, and he's here right now. Let's give a big hand for me. He's doing a masterful MC, um, and it'll be a great show. In the meanwhile, are you guys ready to play some more? We're ready to play All some more. All right, well, we got some time. or take us on out, and yeah, you got plenty of time. So play what you want to do. Thank you. And I guess we are 
We are Freya Wild and the Gathering Storm. I would be Freya Wild and these people of the Gathering Storm. Um, it's a little ringy. It's a little ringy, that one, yeah, if it's possible. Um, and we're so happy to be here. We're so grateful for the invitation and what a delight to share the stage with um, some good friends, people I haven't seen in forever and people I've loved forever. And so it's just really a delight to be here and to have you all here as well. Thank you. So this first song that we're going to do is, um, well, I, the story behind it is that one day, it was early March, and I was headed out to my truck to go somewhere, and there was this robin up in the tree, and, and I started singing back, and he listened, and then he sang, and we, we went back and forth for a while. And that was fun. And so then I got in my car, and as I was driving, his little song turned into And then this song kind of happened on top of that. It's called Robin's Song.
Thank you so much. This next song, you know, so for so much of my life I have felt like I was in the cocoon, in that place of becoming. And I understand for myself that so much of that becoming is what am I creating in my mind for myself? You know, that vision that we keep holding that keeps us evolving in a certain direction. And uh, that's, that's really the basis for this song. It's called Dreams of Flight.
that, let's introduce Pete Jacobs on the bass. And let's introduce Dino Bartos on the guitar. James Messrich on drums. And Cheyenne Dane on the cross string. And this is the debut of this particular lineup of this band. This is both Dino and Cheyenne's first gig. And we are thrilled, thrilled to have them with us, and because obviously it's, it's, it's pretty juicy. So, ah, uh, this next song, Carry You Home. Mm. i 
upon the waves. You were born to dance upon the waves, shining up. You were born to dance upon the waves. He wears a globe on top of his head, and he wears a cape with planet Earth on him, and he's wearing tights, and he's got his face painted, and he calls himself Earth Man. And he is out there preaching the good word about recycling and reducing and reusing and all the, all the ways that we can save the Earth. And this song came about because I was, um, well, I was gonna go hiking and I was headed up towards Gregory Canyon. I was in my truck and I thought, I wanna write a song in five. You know, most songs are in four or in six, eight, and I wanted to write a song in five. One, two, three, four, five. And I was like, huh. So I'm in my car and I'm driving up to Gregory Canyon. I get to the trailhead, and oh, there he is. And I know him because I met him in a Lindy Hop class, you know, 20 years ago. Um, and but I'm like, hey, Earthman, how you doing? Hey, how it's going? And he shows me his special handshake. And he's got this special handshake where when you shake hands, you don't shake like this. You intertwine your fingers like this. And he says it's because humanity, we are all intertwined, and in the earth, and we are all intertwined, and we are all dependent on each other. And then he had... There's some, something for each finger, but I don't remember what those were. But then he said, now, and he shook my hand and he said, thank you for the next five things you do for the earth. And I'm like, bam. Here's my song. I changed, I changed his tagline a little bit, just so it would roll off the tongue a little more easily. But the song is called The, earth, the Next Five Things. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Thank you. 
we do have an encore. You know, I was going to do that at the end, but I'll do it now. Okay. <laughs> you know, it takes a village. It really does. Uh, and he said, don't forget to tell everybody that we're playing at Boko Cider next weekend. Uh, Boko Cider is in Boulder, and it, it, we start at 4, and we play from 4 to 6, and we're really excited about that. And so we hope that you can, you know, if you're like, oh, I could go sip some cider, then uh, come sip some cider with us. Yeah. Yeah, and um, if you would like to uh, find out more about us, then you can go to my website. You can find me at freyawild.com or even freyamusic.com, and you can sign up for my email list and uh, find out when we're playing and that kind of thing. You can follow me on Facebook, and um, yeah. Is there anything else I should say before we... It's going to be a little bit rough because I didn't bring my alto flute and the score I have is transposed for alto flute, so I'm going to play it on this flute, so <laughs> you can expect some... Uh, little improvisation some, on Juan's part. Some here. <laughs> so, Juan actually uh, plays um, several different flutes. He's got a bass, it's a bass flute as well. Yes. And if you want to hear it, come to Boko Sai. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
members to come on back up and join me up here in, on stage. You guys stay there, and I just want everybody to come up so we can take one final bow. But before we do, um, a couple announcements. Please come back on May 23rd. Dave Coyle, come on up, Dave. Come here, come here. Okay. Dave will be your host, and he's been the host. He's been here before. He knows a thing or two. So come on up and see Dave next time. Uh, he's a wonderful he's a host. He's got a much better voice for radio than I have. Um, and he's also a fine musician, and maybe he'll play something for you while he's here. Uh, we'll see. We'll All see. Right. We'll see what kind of. Yeah, I'm All in. Right. I'm in. We have time. All so, right. Well, we'll yeah. see how it goes. Um, I haven't finished the lineup, so we'll we'll, we'll see how it works out. All right. Um, I want to thank every all of you for coming. Um, one other announcement: there's another show uh, that you might be interested in here, right here on May 12th. Um, um, I'm part of a, a group called Heron's Haunt, and Heron's Haunt is sponsoring a show here by a, a Nashville artist by the name of Steph Mahan. She's going to be in from Nashville on tour, and we've arranged for her to do a show here. So. Uh, Look uh, uh, through Longmont Public Media or in touch with me or however you want to do it, but or just show up on May 12th at about this same time, uh, and there should be a show here. Um, let's see, what else? I want to thank uh, our volunteers, um, Aldo Johnson over here, Cameron. Yeah. 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 Don't see who's in there making, making all the camera action work, but you can go home now and watch this online and see what a great job Eric did. Um, and then, of course, Marvelous in front of the mic and behind the board, yeah. Mad Dog Friedman. Yeah. 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 Valerie. Zarek. Zarek. <laughs> and Freya Wild in the Gathering Storm. And everybody take a bow.